Amen. I want the kids still active, doing what they do. So we will keep the homeschool this Friday. And um, amen. amen. So, so y'all get the album? Yes. Was I telling the truth? Yes. Amen. I, it came on the, I was asleep, but it came on at 12 midnight, I guess the digital. So I woke up this morning and got it. I'm riding the car like I never heard it before. I don't know why it does that. Did anybody else do that? I'll be like, I've been listening to this album for two months straight. And this morning it all sounded brand new. Amen. But it is, it, one thing about it, it's really a mood kind of album. It's just reminiscent of all we've been through. Amen. Some of those songs were pinned. I know PJ had a couple that were pinned while we were outside. And we were singing those songs outside when the devil was keeping us out of here. Then when the devil was acting up in here, I remember PJ wrote the anthem, which is Shield. And we began to sing that. Remember the first time we sung that? Hey, man. I, hey, hey. And I remember I had gotten sick, real sick, with the mold and all of that. Remember? And I wrote in the name. So when I hear that, there's healing in it. Oh, see? It may not mean nothing to y'all. I wrote that song in faith knowing that healing was coming. I didn't have the healing, but I knew that was healing in the name of Jesus. So when I hear it, it may mean something totally different, but it just takes me back to all. Do you know all we went through to just stay a church? Folk went crazy. I just tried everything to stop a church. Who does that? Who think about who does that? The devil. But we fought. We fought. We fought. And look, look at somebody say, and we're here. We are here. We are here. So that album, to, it means everything to me because it just just takes me back. I remember. I'll never forget. Remember it was raining outside. And we set that equipment up out there. Y'all don't remember that. Y'all, yeah. We set that equip equipment up like we was a bunch of lunatics. They already say we a cult, so we was really a cult out in the rain. Now, we was praising the Lord in the rain. Miss Lori took off running. Y'all remember that? In the rain. Yeah, they, I mean, we were out there in the cars just praising God and thanking him. Amen. Loved each other so much that we would just be, if my car is next to yours. That's all I needed, Sister Amy. Just let me get my, see, let me get my car next to the people that I love so we can see these end times. See what God does. Man, man, we got testimonies in here. That's why, Elder, don't come telling me about no false God. Don't be arguing with me about no Christmas. Are you crazy? Do you know what I've seen God do? I've seen his hand. I've seen him move. I've seen him save, deliver, set free. I've seen him heal. Don't come talking about stupid stuff. You haven't seen what I've seen. We opened these doors and they told us if we gathered this many people, somebody would drop dead in here. Remember that? And Sister TC had just had a kidney transplant. Remember that? And came in here to worship God with her. And look at her. See, I don't... I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. Sister Tiana's mama walked right in here, died three times, came walking in here in a, in a, on a, see, on a walker. And you know what she came and told me? She said, your daughter is about to bless you. She said, God showed me your daughter's about to bless you with a baby. She told me that three years ago. I don't, don't, no, don't, don't. 
you want to hear stupid stuff, you want to listen to stupid stuff, just go listen to it. You can keep listening to it if you want to, but I'm going to remember what he's done. I'm going to remember his hand. I'm going to remember his miracles. I'm going to remember how he touched me. Hallelujah. I had to take six weeks off from preaching. Six weeks. As much as I love y'all, I couldn't get up before you if I wasn't in my right mind. And what was in my body wouldn't let me think straight. So I didn't preach for six weeks. But God said, I made your body. You needed to break anyway. So sit down and let the testimonies of God go forth. These brothers got up, testified, and our church grew. Those six weeks, our church grew. I don't want a man. See, you can't rejoice if you haven't seen God for yourself. You can't rejoice if you can't remember. You can't rejoice if he ain't done. You don't remember the stuff he's done for you. But I remember everything that the Lord. I remember had guys come in my office. Me and Elder in there and they telling me. You're going to die. God's going to kill you. You only got this amount to live. You only got this amount of time to live. I saw it in a dream. I said, brother, you better quit eating pizza late at night. Because God did not say I was going to die. As a matter of fact, he told me there was more. There was more. He told me that there was more that was going to join this church once you leave. Once y'all leave. Y'all in the way and look around you. Take time and look around you. More are here. So you can listen to stupid stuff from stupid people. But I'm listening to God. And I'm watching his hand. And I'm watching his miracles. Hallelujah, young city. No, no, man. I don't have time for the stupid. I don't have time for that. God has been too good. God has been too good. Has God been good over here? Has God been good over here? been too good hallelujah I got a message today so let me get to it oh but when I think about it when I think about hallelujah oh my clicker get my clicker amen it's just a continuation from what happened last night. We gave God praise in this place last night. Hallelujah. I just think the first of the year is the time we ought to give God some praise. I think we ought to show him how thankful we are. I think we ought to show him how happy we are. I think he ought to, we ought to show him how much joy we have. Hallelujah. All right, sit down. <laughs> oh, somebody still got some joy? I got a little, little of this joy out. Hallelujah. All right. 
All right. Let me let me liberate you right quick. Have a seat. Let me let me let me tell you about this joy. I was telling the band this morning. There is nothing wrong with us emotionally expressing ourselves. Now, the devil came in to try to make it look like it was all about that. But when the word is here and the truth is here, God wants your expression. There is something too, I got a feeling that everything is going to be all right. There is nothing wrong with a feeling. There's nothing wrong with a feeling. There's nothing wrong with a feeling. So if you got a feeling, go and express it. If that's how you feel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, listen, the devil tried to rob us. You go, you watch football games, you watch basketball games, you get a feeling. You watch the right movie, you get a feeling. But what about us that are standing on the word of God and watching the hand of God? We can have a feeling. I've got a feeling that everything is going to be all right. Hallelujah! 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 I'm getting my praise in now because I know in 2023 everything's gonna be all right. I don't have to worry about it. I've seen him do it for too many years. I've seen him be too consistent. I've seen him continue to bless us. So what are you worried about? I got a feeling that everything. All right, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Amen. And let me tell you something. I'll admit, I had to learn that. We started this church. I said, no, ain't nobody dancing. No, we ain't doing none of this. Because, I, you know, we were building the church, laying the foundation. We decided to build the foundation of this church on the word and not emotionalism. But listen, once the word is established, once the foundation is laid, you can build anything on that foundation. Where my builder at? If the foundation is sound, you can lay whatever on it and it won't disturb the foundation. It'll keep standing. Anybody got a feeling? Anybody got a feeling? Hallelujah. I got a feeling. Everything's gonna Everything's gonna be all right. Hallelujah. Just base it on your past experience. Hadn't he been consistent? Hasn't he made it all right? When you thought it couldn't get any better, God made it better. See, you, you, you don't hold up music. You don't see what I see. You know what I see? I see a crowd of people sustained in hell by the hand of God. Your money, your finances, your family, everything is held in the hand of God. Why wouldn't you have a feeling? Why wouldn't you feel some kind of way? Why wouldn't you count your blessings? If it wasn't for God, if it wasn't for his hand, we wouldn't be here. But God has brought us to a wonderful place. Look around you. you got, he gave you sisters. He gave you brothers. He gave you something better than your own family in some cases. 
God united you with what you need. He united you with the knowledge you need. He gave you the testimonies and the examples that you need. And arm in arm, we're going to see the king. Arm in arm! Hallelujah. Okay, sit down. Amen. You know, that's just how I feel. And ain't nothing wrong with a feeling. <laughs> there ain't nothing wrong with a feeling. How you gonna ride around listening to music bumping your head and tell me something is wrong with a feeling? How you gonna hug your husband, your wife? and feel something and tell me something is wrong with the feeling. What's wrong with a feeling? Amen. Jeremiah said <laughs> It's like fire! Fire! I don't know if you've ever been around fire but fire will give you a feeling. You put your hand on some fire, you gonna get a feeling. Jeremiah said, it's like fire. Shut up in my boat. Shut up in my boat. All right, y'all sit up. For well, the kid lose his mind. <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> Jeremiah said it's like fire. <laughs> shut up in my bones. Shut up in my bones. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Bones, bones, bones. Shut up in my bones. <laughs> Y'all ain't happy. God ain't done nothing for you. If God hasn't done anything for you, go to sit down. Go to sit down. But if it's just like fire, shut up in your bones. You can't sit down. You can't sit down. Hallelujah. All right, let's sit down now. Somebody don't understand. The reason you don't understand is because you don't know where I've been. And you don't know what I've been through. And you don't know what the devil tried to do to me. You don't understand. You don't understand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Sometimes you need to show the devil, and it ain't about the devil, but sometimes you need to show him that you ain't thinking about him. You need to show him, you ain't the one that saved me. I ain't thinking about you, you ain't the one that set me free. You're not the one that changed my life. Not you, devil, but it was Jesus. I got a feeling. I got a feeling. Prophet, what do you see in 2023? I got a feeling. What do you think the new world order's gonna do? I got a feeling. What you think they gonna do with this COVID and this pandemic? I've got a feeling. Oh! What you think Bill Gates gonna do this year? I've got a feeling. 
that everything, 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 everything is going to be all right. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so that's it. Everybody looking at me like, nah, nah. I got a feeling now. I got a feeling. What you think the economy's gonna do? I've got a feeling. What about these interest rates? What you think gonna happen, Pastor? I've got a feeling. I heard there's a food shortage coming and there ain't gonna be no more water. What you think about that, Pastor? I've got a... I've got a feeling. witches in the whole world are uniting on this Halloween to cast a spell over the whole world. But guess what? I've got a feeling. They've already done that. They've already tried that. And I got a feeling just like before that everything is going to be alright. This is it for real. <laughs> Sit down. Come on. I'm for real about this feeling. I still feel it. I don't know if I can go to the slides because I got a feeling. going to be all right. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 He's worthy, y'all. He's worthy. He's worthy of more than just your feeling. He's worthy of you reacting to the feeling. He's worthy of you lifting your hands. He's worthy of you giving him praise. He's worthy of you calling out his name. He's worthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. You don't have to wait on feeling it before you lift your hands. You lift your hands to feel it. So why don't you lift your hands? And say, I got a feeling everything is going to be all right. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Hallelujah. Now give God some praise. Hallelujah. 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 Man, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Let me explain something to you real quick. So yesterday, we had the choir march in and they robes and y'all look at that and say, oh, well, that's just show. That's a bunch of show and all that. What do you think the children of Israel was doing? God put robes on them. God lined them up 12 by 12. God had them marching toward the Ark of the Covenant. God had them showing how great he was. So all we did yesterday was just show the goodness of the Lord. The goodness of the Lord. 
Don't you throw the baby out with the bath water. Cause ain't nothing wrong with a feeling. You saw that choir, you heard that choir, you got a feeling, you don't know what to do with it. Some of y'all can't even clap on time, so you don't know what's going on. All I know is that I feel like I need to be doing something. That's the Holy Ghost. That's the Holy Ghost. There's nothing wrong with feeling the Holy Ghost. Yeah, but it was just singing and music. What do you think it was that was moving the children of Israel? The Levites played instruments. They sung songs and gave God the glory. So ain't nothing wrong with you having a feeling. Ain't nothing wrong with you expressing your feeling. Security ain't going to get you. You can get out of the aisle like Pierre just did and go on and express how you feel. Yeah, don't come up here and do it. <laughs> Brother Jeff, move the chair so you, we can have some aisles. So you can just jump in that aisle when you get the feeling. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> All right, musicians. Y'all have a seat. Okay. Amen. Well, I got a feeling. <laughs> Hallelujah. Every time I keep trying to sit y'all down, the feeling comes back. Because I got a feeling. <laughs> I'm not worried about this year. I'm not worried about no Bill Gates. I ain't worried about Elon Musk. I ain't worried about what the world is doing because I've already seen what God can do. I don't even need to see God do anymore. Just keep doing what you've been. Oh, keep doing what you've been doing. I got a feeling, sis, that everything Hallelujah. Man, it don't look like I'm gonna get to no slides today. I'm tired of messing with this feeling. I'm gonna have to let the feeling be felt. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody got a feeling. Hallelujah. All right, let's sit down. Come on. That's it. That ain't it. I feel it, Doc. I feel it. Oh. Oh. Come on and give it feeling hallelujah listen 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 some of y'all can't clap and move cause stuff is heavy on you you got weight on you but you don't understand you're going to have to push that weight off. And you push it off by movement. By movement. Don't lay there. Don't stand there. Stagnant. But move. Move the weight off. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give it glory. He 
he's worthy. Give him glory because he's worthy. Look at your neighbor and say, I got a feeling that 2023 is going to be all right. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right, Walter. It's going to be all right. Hallelujah. together one more time hallelujah 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 I, I get to this message another time see I'm not trying to use the shouting because I didn't have a message I had one but God said save it because it's time to give him praise right now it's time to just praise him with your with the activity of your limbs like you do everything else everything else you get happy you show it you get excited you show it so we're not coming in here happy and excited about what Jesus has done and not showing it hallelujah so lift your hands right now and we thank you Lord we thank you Lord because you're gonna protect us because you're gonna protect us you have never left us. You've never gone back on your word. You've kept every promise. Father God, you've taken care of us. We don't want for anything. We have everything because of you. So right now, as Adamant Believers Council, we offer you praise, glory, honor, and adoration that you deserve for bringing us through another year father god the elite have broken our world they've broken your world they've done diabolical things but father we're still here so we thank you we thank you for our lives we thank you for our health we thank you for our strength and this year we'll be constantly reminding you of all the wonderful things you have done for us. Hallelujah. Come on and give him praise. Hallelujah. 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 You may be seated. Let's sit down. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, I'm going to call the elder. I'm done. God, I mean. God needed that from us. Man, we sitting up here with designer clothes and new cars. Houses. Nice apartments. Jewelry. Money in your pocket. How dare we come in here and not have a feeling? Hallelujah. But there's nothing wrong with expressing it. Nothing at all wrong. Nothing at all wrong. You know, I'm a slow mover, so I waited till I knew the foundation could deal with a choir. Hey, see, you ain't done choirs as long as I have. Me and Tanya, that's our element. That's just what we've always done. We've gone into uh, churches and just built choirs from scratch. 
gone, traveled, done it. That's just what we did. But I know once you bring the choir in, the feelings come in. Amen. And some folk don't know how to handle it. But we got a foundation in here. A foundation of holiness. A foundation of truth. It ain't going to crack, brother. It ain't going to crack, J. Brian. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, give God praise one more time. Brand new year. Brand new year. Brand new year. So what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm off the rest of this month. So the next four Sundays, I got guests coming in. They're going to bless you. Amen. But I'm taking off. Don't bother me. Amen. I need to rest. Amen. I did this last year. If I hadn't done it last year, I don't know how I would have made it because I had no idea I'd be traveling doing the truth on hip hop. I didn't know, but God knew. So he had me rest four Sundays last year. Rest in these next four this year. But y'all gonna still show up, right? Y'all ain't here for me. I know better than that. But we have some guests coming in. And, but yeah, let me rest. Y'all gonna let me rest? Amen. I'm going to rest. You ain't going to stop it. Amen. And like my wife, I heard her telling P31 the other day, and I was just listening to her sometimes at, at the end of it. She's talking, um, and she just says a lot of profound things, you know. She does it to the women, you know. Folk want to get her up here and make her an apostle and all that stuff, and, you know, they, they hear you say two words. They want you up so they can be up. That's what women want. But she does it, you know, the way God has ordained it. But some things that she was saying, one thing she said that stuck out to me, she said, do you know how many true church perspective sermons there are? You don't know how many they are. 400. There's 400 sermons. Do you know how many sermons that is? 400? There's 120 on YouTube on a YouTube channel so the answer to your question not to mention how many videos how many videos we got back a uh, mother was the 50 48 I know it was 48 last time probably closer to 50 videos in there so if you can't find the answer with 50 videos 400 True Church Perspective, and 120 YouTube messages, you're hopeless. There's no hope for you. <laughs> Amen. So for the next four weeks, I need you to go find the answers where God put them. Amen. Amen. But thank God. Woo, that felt good. Man, man, man. So I'm going to bring Elder up. We're going to take up the offering. And then we're going to hear from the choir one more time. Come on, Elder. 